Dear students, we have started our modules on Microsoft Word and in the previous module we have just learned about Microsoft Word environment and some of the important concepts. And in today's module we will be focusing on quick access bar which is available in Microsoft Word. So we will be discussing available options in uh, quick access bar and how to add commands to quick access bar. So let's start. So let's open the file on which we were working. So this is a blank document. So let's put the same thing. This is ITC course. So quick access bar is available on the top left corner. So this quick access bar have those options which you need instantly which you want to perform instantly and you can add you can configure this quick access bar according to your requirements so we have seen that there are number of options for example in this home ribbon in insert ribbon and in design ribbon so for example if you need this thing over here so you can try to add this thing over here so these are those commands which you need more often and for those commands you do not want to go into any further details by pressing any of the menus so one of the thing which is available as quick on quick access bar is save button so if you want to save this file you instantly can click on this button and that is going to save your file so for example, if I go on to desktop and say that this is ITC course.docx. So all of the files in Microsoft Word have extension docx. So this is saved now. And then there are certain other things which are available. So this is one of the very important thing which you might be using while using Microsoft Word known as undo typing and redo typing. So for example, we have put this, this is ITC course at VU. So these two buttons have been enabled. One is called undo. This means if you click on this button, so whatever you have written will be, uh, will go away. And if you want again that thing, so you can press redo. So this thing you can also achieve using control Z and control Y. So control Z is for undo and control Y is for redo. So when there are all of the things available, then you might have seen that this button is disabled. So this means that if now if you press control Y many times there will be nothing happen because uh, you have already redo all of the content whatever you want to do in this document and then these three buttons are already available on this quick access bar however you can add some other options by pressing this small arrow button so go on to here and for example you want the new and over this so you press new so this new icon is now available over here so whenever you press new so the new document should be generated instantly for example this is a new document that has been generated and this new button will remain on all of the new documents and has become the part of your quick access bar so similarly you can also put some other things like if you want to print your documents and you do not want to go into file and then print so you need the print option over here so you go over here and quick print so whenever you click this so that document will be printed so there are many many uh, such kind of options which you can add to your quick access bar and you can add some more commands which were not available over there but 
are available over here. So this dialog is telling you that all of these commands, for example, these are popular commands, these are home tab commands, these are insert commands, etc. So for example, if within the home, we want to add bold functionality. So you click on bold and click on the add and then click on OK. So now you can see that bold functionality has been added into your quick access bar. And similarly, you can delete whatever you do not need over here. So let's try to delete the bold as well. So click on this, remove and then OK. So now your quick access bar is the neat clean bar as it was already available, but you can redesign, reconfigure this bar according to your requirements. So let's summarize today's module. Today we have learned only one bar that is known as quick access bar. And we have seen the already available options on quick access bar. And then we have also seen that how you can add more options onto quick access bar.